hearing these uh, wonderful young people, it really makes me feel old. <laughs> really, like I, I'm from another century. Actually, I am now. <laughs> but so I'm uh, many things. I wear many hats. But deep down in my heart, in my soul, I'm a musician. I've been a musician since I've finished my high school. From the day I finished my high school, I was making a living, writing, singing, playing, producing, arranging music. Almost 47 years. Six years back in Czechoslovakia, and the rest of it over here in the States. But um, before, I'm going to talk about my one of my many projects. I'm going to invite you all to Betola. That's my uh, restaurant on Upper West Side. It's the only rock and roll <laughs> German-Italian restaurant. Cape was there. He played there. Yes, see? So, you know, this is like a shameless way to promote myself. <laughs> but, so I've been there. And I, I play music, I became chef, and uh, that's the reason I'm, I'm working as hard as I never worked hard, hard in my life. My partner, Gigal Isayama. So you know how it works. Make different dishes, I have no culinary experience. I just improvise. <laughs> and we're doing fail, I play music. And so now, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. now, I, uh, when I talk about my project, sacrificing fame for freedom. When uh, COVID hit last year, I um, had a lot of time on my hands. So I decided to write a, a book about my life behind the Iron Curtain as a musician. I didn't plan to do it, but see, in 2015, Slovak TV came to New York and made a documentary movie about me and my band. You have been born in uh, this century, and uh, you're from Czech Republic. You have no idea who Taktici were, you know. In uh, years 1977 through 1979, we produced 100 songs. We had many, many hits. We topped the hit parade and topped even the Queen. Ooh. And so we never sold out to the system. I never worked through Slov concert or Prago concert, which were the only two entertainment agencies in Czechoslovakia. How I did it? It's in my book. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, so I, you know, we tried to do uh, different things like nobody had before done. We did music to original music to dance with the crazy lyrics about langoche, about, especially the food, quarter pound of fish salad, you know, different things. And even though we had a, we were the only band, a band ever in Czechoslovakia who had a song on the radio in England while we were living behind the Iron Curtain. That drive Bolsheviks crazy. <laughs> so how that happened? It's in a book. Yeah, so, you know, so we had a chance to go to England, but the government canceled my tour and I said uh, that I don't represent the uh, socialist value, whatever that means. So that was pretty much the final nail in my coffin. I decided to defect, leaving everything behind. Everything, well, when we left, everything was taken off the radio, all the songs, everything was banned. And they tried to sort of wipe the, us from existence. And uh, fortunately, people made a lot of uh, live recordings and the tables circulating around the country for decades. I didn't know. I was living in New York. And I was living in the fl Florida, Hollywood, and uh, Vegas. But still, people were singing my songs. They were like born after I left, which was great. So make a long story short, when I was talking about stuff in the movie, a lot of things were left out. So I'm thinking, I'm going to write it the way it was right. 
who did what to me, and I put all the names. Why not? Yeah, I'm here. So, so, you know, because people do really, really unforgivable or you things you can't comprehend when they in different circumstances. And believe me, believe it. Look what's happening now. Thank you.